<laughs> well, I definitely know what I'm having for lunch on Sunday. Big fan of Wayback Burgers. I want to get out to meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner down on uh, Bicentennial Plaza ahead of Buckfest. She'll have the forecast as she contemplates eating some of that chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, I mean, you just said you know what you're going to have for lunch on Sunday. I think you know what you're going to have for lunch on Saturday, too, right? Bugs, Cafe Insecta. <laughs> um, Bug Fest is finally back, which is wonderful. And the folks here say that it is the largest bug festival in the entire world. So very exciting. Tens of thousands of people come down. Don't let that scare you. We've got their outside and inside exhibits. And I want to introduce you to Carrie Woke, who has a lovely friend right here, the hissing Madagascar cockroach, right? I yes. do. Let me see Hi. if I can get him to say a little something. He was hissing a little while he ago. He did. He hissed when I first see, picked him up. He so He does. Much. That's he's what it not, is. He's not going to hiss. He's like, Carrie, I you're know. the best. It's a defense. <laughs> so if he's not frightened, right. then he's not going to yeah. make his defense noise. Now, I might hiss if he gets a little closer to me. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Um, check, check out Carrie's uh, earrings. So you yes. have to take a look at these. So the bug of the year. There's always a bug of the year, and it is... Myriapods, which are centipedes, I like my earrings, and millipedes. Um, so that, uh, yeah, so those are our theme arthropods this year. Every few years we like to do a theme arthropod that's not an insect. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So. But you have the old standards, the things oh, that, yes. that people love. Tell me about yes, those. Yes, well, we have roach races. Roach so races. Roachingham <laughs> 500, where our friends race, um, and you can root uh, for your favorite roach. We have arthropod Olympics. We have stag beetle battles and just bees and bugs and centipedes and millipedes and all kinds of other arthropods will be here for bug fest. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. So, you know, if you think you don't like bugs, you should just come and try it. Not necessarily eat one, but I mean, there's just so much fun to be had at Bug Fest. You'll see why so many people come. The weather's going to be great for it. Inside, outside events, no matter what, it looks phenomenal. Let's take a look outside. We're going to check our WRL Live camera network, and you can see blue sky everywhere. Goldsboro, Durham, Apex, and Chapel Hill all looking absolutely beautiful, just like we have for the last several days. We check our satellite and radar view, and you can see it's all quiet. We have a northerly flow that's been bringing this drier air in, and it just it just feels fantastic. We don't have any rain in the forecast. We had a good bit of rain last week, as a matter of fact, which is a good thing. Um, but you may have to pull out the sprinklers or the uh, the hoses. Our drought monitor, though, really reflected all the rain we got last weekend. Last week, the drought monitor had every single one of our counties in abnormally dry, and now just a handful. So that is definitely a good thing. So some improvement there in the drought monitor for this week. Let's take a look at football Friday. It's looking great for that. Lots of clear skies to begin with. We kick off at 77 degrees. And on Saturday, Texas Tech plays at NC State. Kick off at 7 o'clock on Saturday, 76 degrees. It doesn't get much better than that. Tropical Storm Fiona has winds right now at about... Uh, 20 miles per hour. Uh, so I'm sorry, it's 50 miles per hour. And you can take a look at that forecast track. Here's a look at the model plots. And almost all of them want to bring that storm toward the Caribbean islands and then northward toward the United States. So we'll continue to watch that. We have at least a week before there be, be any impacts to the United States. So we have time to take a, a look and just kind of kind of watch and make sure uh, we'll let you know how things are looking. It's looking lovely through most of the weekend, but it does turn hot again Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And now the heat is on here. All right, we got Chris back here with the cookies. Here you go. Man, I don't know. Look at that. There's, there's the, there it is. There's the cricket right there. <laughs> Kim, really? I what if I just take a bite of the edge of it? Do it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> does that count, or do I have to eat the whole thing? You gotta eat the whole what thing. What do you think? Can you need a little, a little more oh my bug. Gosh. A little more bug. <laughs> Yummy cookie. Just think cookie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's good. It's delicious. Chris, Listen, you did a great job. Renee found Yummy. some video evidence that she tried that same cookie a few years ago, Elizabeth. So you don't want to. Well, that was in 2014. Yeah, I think I put it out of my memory. <laughs> but I survived. And you will delicious. too, Elizabeth. <laughs> uh, we're proud of you. <laughs>